Do you know how to work with a negative exponent? Let's take a look at an example. If we have x cubed divided by x to the seventh, then we have x to the third, or x cubed, minus 7, which would give us x to the negative fourth. Now, you'd like to think this is your final answer, but we can't leave a negative exponent like this. So we can say that x to the negative power is the same as 1 over x. So if I have x to the negative 1, or the negative first here, then I can change that to 1 over x. Whenever you have a negative exponent, you must rewrite it into this form for your work to be complete. Now let's look at how to change x to the negative fourth into the proper form. First, we have x to the negative fourth, and we can rewrite that as 1 over x to the fourth. This is our final answer. Let's look at another one. Let's say I have y to the sixth divided by y to the eighth. Again, I'm dividing, so I'm going to subtract my exponents. So I have y to the sixth minus 8 equals y to the negative 2. I can't leave it with a negative exponent, so I'm going to put 1 over y squared. This is my final answer. What about if we have this? x to the negative 2, y to the negative 3. We can rewrite this whole term and put it all over 1. 1 over x squared y cubed. This is our final answer. Look at this problem down here. We have x to the fourth y squared divided by x to the eighth y. Now, we're going to work with the x's first and then the y's. Watch what happens. x to the fourth divided by x to the eighth would be x to the fourth minus eight, which would be x to the negative fourth, which would be equal to one over x to the fourth. However, we're not done because we have y squared, let's put that in red, y squared minus 1, because there is a 1 with this y, equals y. Now where is this y going to be located? It's going to be located in the numerator because this is where the greater value is. So we're going to have y here. So if I was going to simplify this, I could write y over x to the fourth. That's a little tricky. Let's look at another one like that. x to the sixth y to the fifth divided by x to the seventh y squared equals x to the sixth divided by x to the seventh is going to leave me with x to the negative one, which means I'm going to have to put 1 over x. I made this line longer because we have more to go. y to the fifth divided by y squared, I'm going to subtract these exponents and I'm going to have y to the third in my numerator. My final answer is y to the third over x.